What is going on guys? I've had the Focus ST for some time now, so now it's time to put my own little touch on stuff. I like to have stuff that's different or maybe stuff like that you can't get on a website and buy. So today, and I seen this idea and I wish I knew who it was, but I seen somebody's Focus ST for sale on Facebook Marketplace and he had took his engine cover, this battery cover, and this fuse block cover. He took all that and he taped it off and he like splatter painted it. But he did like a maroon and black color. Well guys, today I'm gonna attempt to galaxy splatter paint my engine cover and stuff to give it my own look. And if things go well, I might do some other stuff on the car like interior wise. But guys, let's get this stuff off. Let's get it prepped. Let's see if we can galaxy paint our engine cover and other stuff under the hood on the Focus ST. So the idea is to tape all this off and this ST and where this is like this grayish black color to do that. So I'll sand it down, paint it black and then do the little flick paint on it. And then on these, I won't have to really tape anything, just do some sanding. So all right guys, let's start getting this stuff off. Boom. Love how the engine cover just pops off. I'm probably gonna get this stuff off and back my car out of the garage so we don't get any overspray. All right, guys, I got my makeshift table up, I got the engine cover. So basically, I'm gonna tape along this. I want to keep this gray part and this ST part. So basically we're just doing this. And then on the fuse block cover and the battery cover, we're just going to do the whole thing. So I'm going to lay these to the side for a second. And I'm sure I'll speed this next part up, but I'm just going to take and tape over before I even start sanding. So guys, let's get right into that. I got these X-Acto blades. Um, guys, I'll, I'll link a few of these things down in the description below under my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, anytime in any of my videos, if y'all are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But in all my videos, I have Amazon links in the description box. If you click and buy anything under my links that I've linked down in the description box below, uh, no extra charge to you, I actually get a kickback from that, so it helps out the channel. So guys, anything that you all buy in the description, it helps me out at no extra charge to you and we really appreciate it here. So like I said, any things, uh, some things I've used in this video, I'll link in the description box below, especially the paint. Uh, I got this special Rust-Oleum paint just for plastics. So I'll make sure to link that um, for sure. But anyways, I just got some of these uh, X-Acto knives and I'm gonna sit down and start cutting carefully and uh, get ready to start sanding this. So, I actually changed my mind. I think the only thing I'm taping off is this ST part because if you look real close at this gray part, it's kind of dingy looking. And I don't really wanna leave that. And I don't really, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do all of it. So I think I'm just gonna leave this taped up and I think I'm gonna start sanding. So let's get right into that. If anybody's looking for a leaf blower, this Milwaukee one's pretty sick. I'll link this in the description box below. I'm gonna go get some alcohol, something to clean this with to prep the surface and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, got everything sanded down. Come over here, give you a good look at it. So I got this scuffed up pretty decent. So the goal is to lay a coat of black down 
And then I'm gonna take the purple and kind of haze it. So like a couple light coats of purple, but I'm not trying to cover the black. And then I'm gonna take the white, spray it onto something and kind of flick the white on to make it look like stars. All right guys, we're gonna get to prepping and uh, so we can start painting. All right guys, everything's prepped. It's time to lay the first coat of black on. So let's get right into it. All right, before we get started, Dupla Color Vinyl and Fabric. This is really good for interior painting. Um, I've tried this on plastics before, so I know this works. So I really wanted to you do this as the base layer. And then for my purple, I got Rust-Oleum Custom. Uh, ideal for plastic and fiberglass and it can be for metal as well but there's a close-up of that can like i said guys i'll link all these in the description box below and here's the white and then here's the clear coat so like i said you can either pause and check the cans out or check them out in the description box below i also changed clothes because i didn't want to get paint all over me especially when i go to flickering Speaking of that, I need to go change my shoes and then I'm going to start laying this coat of black down. All right, let that dry for a little bit and then we'll hit it with another coat. All right, I let that sit about 10 minutes so now I'm going to throw another coat on it. Went pretty heavy on that coat. I'm gonna let that dry for maybe 20 minutes and then we'll come back and see how it looks. And I might have to hit it with a third heavier coat. All right, I'm probably gonna go ahead and hit it with one heavy last coat and just let it dry. And then I'm gonna start hazing my purple over it. All right, the black's all done. I just showed you all the black was finished. Um, it looked a little weird on camera. It looks pretty smooth uh, in the pictures. In the, in the camera, it looked like it had some line, weird lines or something. Uh, those aren't present, you know, here in person. So I'm not real sure what happened there with the camera. But anyways, I'm gonna try to start hazing some purple over it and uh, see how it turns out. All right, here goes nothing. kind of experiment with a couple things to kind of get it how I want. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's a little harder to do what I want than I thought it would be. So I'm just going to keep experimenting and see if I can't come up with something that uh, I end up liking and clear coating over. the splatter done and I really like it didn't turn out exactly how I pictured it but uh, it still looks galaxy ish to me it's kind of got the black and uh, I messed up on the splatters a couple times I just rubbed it over sprayed back over with black purple then a little black and then I did the uh, the splatter so I'm gonna do a little more splatter to where it's to where I like it and uh, I'll show you guys all right, I'm gonna show y'all a quick glance of them before uh, I clear coat it. I really like the way it turned out. Especially the engine. The engine cover turned out really good. Uh, these pieces turned out as good too. But I really like that, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna let that dry for a while and then I'm gonna come back and give it a clear coat and I'll give y'all the final reveal. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a couple coats of clear coat. All right, a pretty first thick coat of clear coat on. I think I'm only gonna clear it twice. I'm honest 
honestly pretty pumped. That turned out way better than I thought it was going to. Normally I'm not good at this type of stuff, but this just turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I sent it to one of my friends and he said, that looks like a star galaxy. And I was like, yes, that's what I was going for. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this dry for a while and then I'm gonna pull my car back in. I'm gonna let all the paint settle down too. I don't want to get any overspray on my car. So I'll come back out here in a little while when all this is dry and I'm gonna put it on because I want to take a picture of it on my car. All right, guys, be back in a few. Does anybody else have the hardest time putting this battery cover on? Like, I don't know. Every time I take it off, I always have the hardest problem. So, I think it turned out really sweet. And I don't know how I just now noticed this, but this is actually tape. So I need to peel this off and do a nice little reveal for y'all. This turned out incredible. I'm actually really surprised. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm not normally good at things like this, but this turned out exactly how I pictured it to turn out. Guys, if you're gonna do this, what colors would you have chose? Comment down below. All right, guys, that's where I'm in this video. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed, guys. 90% of you watching my videos aren't subscribed, so if you could do so, that would really help the channel out a lot. Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below. If you buy any of the products I used in the video, it helps the channel out at no extra charge to you. Make sure you're following us on all the social medias. Those will be linked in the description box as well. Guys, until next time. All right, guys, if y'all have hung out this far, I'm gonna show you a couple bonus things. I like to do this to, for people who actually watch the whole video, so. I hope you can kind of see, but I've also painted my shift knob. I painted the whole thing purple and I've actually ordered custom shift boot and e-brake boot, but that'll be at a later date. And I also painted uh, the Cobb Access faceplate uh, Galaxy matched to, uh, to match underneath the hood of what I just done in this video. One more thing, Panda Motor Works, of course, thank you all so much. They got this massive oil cap uh, sent to me and I did, I had it done in purple. Now the purple might be a little different shade of what I just done, but that's all right. Um, I actually really like this. So we're gonna actually swap that out right now. Let me flip the camera around. So I guess I'm gonna kind of run with the purple and black theme and kind of the galaxy theme. So, let's see. Oh yeah, that's sick. There we go, a little before and after. All right guys, I just want to throw those little bonus clips in there. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video. Like I said, make sure you check out all the description uh, links. I will link this massive oil cap. You can get it in silver, or you can get it powder coated purple just like I did. Use code BLEWIS at pandamotorworks.com. Guys, until next time.